we do recognize as action aid and partners that are social entrepreneurs can contribute very hugely in terms of provisions for the rights of people living in poverty and exclusion. But really it's important for us to think about systems thinking. So if you look at the entire ecosystem around you, in a county or in a ward, within that think about the initiative that you're trying to work with and try and link that across to all the enablers in the, in, around you, the infrastructure, the health, the sanitation. Thank you so much. Uh, to achieve our goals, remember uh, we have to become ambassadors and Sign TV is the first in Africa, the station that interact with persons with disabilities directly. And the biggest problem they have is access to capital. And as Mantle Africa, we decided to bridge that gap. And we noticed uh, one way we can bridge that gap is through the border border industry. So we were like, how can we enable these people to own them? So what we do is we give them border border loans. Instead of giving them cash, they come and give them a brand new motorbike. I think we need to look at this holistically. If you're looking at the 17 SDGs, there are so many policies that must interlink. But the critical one for us to be able to succeed with the social enterprise is to ensure that the legal framework is developed so that we are able then to interlink. We are putting together a team of around a thousand mentors so that now each of these guys contributing for the two hours of their time in a year to go and mentor schools, we can increase as spontaneously the time you spend uh, mentoring the students. Mara TV delivers free entertainment videos directly to individual members of the public, educating them about sexual reproductive health. So um, in judging the finalists of this competition, what we were looking at uh, was sustainability. You know, do their ideas have potential to outlive the financial support that is there? Do they have a way of financing their operations um, even beyond the support that they are going to get? We're also looking at scalability. Um, how good are these ideas at being replicated? Um, also of interest to us was innovation. Was there something new? Was there any um, creativity in terms of how they were approaching things? Um, also looking at projects that are also impacting people, um, social benefits, also economic benefits, um, because we kept talking about um, social enterprise. And as much as others were more not for profit, we're also very keen to see how do they also get to points where they have income streams. Um, and for those who are fully focused on being for profit, how do they also still have social impact? Having worked for a fruit exporting company, I witnessed firsthand how poor rural smallholder farmers are exploited by middlemen and their products graded at the point of exit, leaving them with a lot of rejects which end up flooding the local markets and rotting just because they don't meet the required international standards. We are trying to look at social enterprises that are already quite doing quite well but they still need some help to really grow so through our partnerships we will scale their social impact. Bright Green is focused on creating clean and accessible energy, cooking energy in particular to low-income families. Uh, the government also is moving ahead to developing uh, an empowerment strategy, women specifically, which is focusing on how all sectors can promote women. extremely happy and we know that now we are going to make nationwide impact. I think the border border guys because this will ultimately the networks we create this will ultimately be to their own benefit. 